everybody. This is my first Facebook Live. I don't really know what I'm doing, so let me just check my page and see if I'm actually live. Apparently, I am live. Okay, so I've been wanting to do a Facebook Live since I started um, this page. Okay. I'm just muting myself on my computer so that I don't hear an echo. I just wanted to make sure my sound was okay. Um, so yeah, so I just want to thank everybody who has been supporting Stamping with Heart and who has liked my page. I really appreciate you guys liking the posts and interacting with me and sharing my posts. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what Stamping with Heart is about. And I'm going to go back and look to see if there are any comments after. Um, if you could just bear with me while I get used to um, doing this and doing the lives and everything. So. Um, yeah, talking to a camera and going live on Facebook is not easy, <laughs> but I'm sure it will be less nerve-wracking eventually. So, um, I am now an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up. My name is Melinda Hart, and I decided to call my Stampin' Up business Stamping with Hart. So, um, this is going to be a little bit different than what friends and family um, have known me to do in the past where uh, I've been crafting for a very long time. Um, I've done craft shows, I've been doing handmade cards for um, a while and I love doing that. Uh, in the past I've done like custom card designs and I will continue um, to be doing that with Stampin' Up! products. Uh, but it'll be really more demonstrating and selling the Stampin' Up! products. I will also be um, doing some classes and I'll have more details uh, to come on that. Um, I'm trying to work on a Halloween and a Christmas class and I will post details. Uh, most likely it's going to be an online class, um, but if you are interested um, in an in-person class or workshop, anything like that, never hesitate to reach out and contact me if you are in my area or within a distance where I could do an in-person event, I would be happy to. Um, I do think I will be doing a lot of online um, classes and workshops. I'm also planning on doing videos, so I will be posting those soon. I am still in the process of learning how to record and edit and post. Uh, but as soon as I have those updates, I will let you know. So uh, there are just a few things that I wanted to go over with you um, regarding what Stampin' Up! is and what I will be doing on this page. So this is definitely a paper crafting business where, like I was saying, I will be demonstrating different projects that they offer. Um, and you can find the products uh, for Stampin' Up! in catalogs. Um, you, they also have an online store, and I have an online store link actually on my Facebook page. So um, you can click the Shop Now button on Facebook. It will take you directly to my Stampin' Up! store if you're ever curious where you can find that information. Um, and I also have the catalogs that I was mentioning. So. If anybody's interested in a catalog, if you're new to Stampin' Up!, if you've never had a demonstrator, I would be happy to work with you. Just let me know. So I'm not going to go, you know, too detailed into the catalogs uh, for the sake of my first Facebook Live. But I did want to just refer to them um, because this is what I'm basically going to be posting about and talking about. And I'm happy to answer questions anytime if anybody has them. So. There are two catalogs to stamp it up right now. Um, the first one is their annual catalog. 
and then they just released a holiday catalog on September 4th. So this is the holiday catalog. Um, we can finally show it to customers, the inside of the catalog. You've been seeing some sneak previews from me um, in my posts. I've been working heavily on Halloween projects. Um, so you'll be seeing a lot of demonstrations from the holiday catalog. Um, but also you'll be seeing products from the annual catalog. If you need a catalog, don't hesitate to contact me. Um, and if you just kind of want to come here for inspiration and just check it out and you're not sure, you're welcome anytime. I'm happy to have you. Um, so one thing that I do want to talk about is paper pumpkin. I'm also going to be talking about paper pumpkin a lot. Um, this is typically what the box looks like. This is a monthly subscription kit and for anybody who is new like me, um, it's a perfect place to start. It's inexpensive, it introduces you to the products, to the line, everything is designed for you. And you'll see me talking about that a lot. Um, this month's kit, the September kit, which is gonna be a Halloween theme, the last day to order that was uh, yesterday, September 10th. So they are now advertising the new paper pumpkin kit that you can sign up for prior to October 10th. And that kit is, just hang in there with me. That's this one. So this one's called Winter Wonders. They're actually going to be doing two kits back to back that coordinate for Christmas. Um, I don't know specifically what's in it. A lot of times um, exactly what comes in the paper pumpkin kits are a surprise. Uh, last month the, it was the, um, the autumn treat bags that could be for Thanksgiving or for giving thanks, um, things like that. This month is going to be treat boxes for Halloween and then the next two months October and November are both going to be winter Christmas theme kits that will coordinate. So you'll get one in October and one in November if you're interested in signing up for Paper Pumpkin. And if you are interested in that, um, don't hesitate to contact me or ask me any questions. It's also a great gift if you know somebody who loves crafting, um, but it isn't necessarily your thing. So, um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to come on here and introduce myself and say hello and welcome you to my page. Um, I also have an email list that I am building and you can actually sign up for my email list. Uh, there is a link saying join my list actually right on the left hand side of my Stamping with Heart Facebook page. So if you are interested in receiving emails from me if you're interested in getting updates seeing my calendar what classes I'm offering new products that are out um, I'll be sharing projects that I make and instructions for those projects that will all be available um, if you would be interested in joining my list that will keep you up to date if you want to see my Facebook lives which my goal is to do at least one of these for you guys weekly it might be bi-weekly to start but I'm gonna try weekly um, you can click the notifications button so that you can get notifications for when I'm live. Um, I have never done a craft video live, so that will be interesting. I was a little bit nervous to do that tonight, so I figured maybe I would just come on here and talk and make sure that this was working and that you could hear me and that it was recording. And once I get used to it, um, I think I'll start doing the craft demonstrations live. So bear with me on that. I'm working on a website, but it's still under construction, so also be patient with me on that. It won't stop you from shopping with me, if you're interested in shopping with me. I will be active on this Facebook page all the time um, if you need to reach me, or if you want to sign up for my email list, that'll be a great way to stay in touch with what I have going on. I'm going to be doing a lot of holiday-focused work. but. Um, I'm also interested in what you would like to see, um, the cards that you tend to give out the most. Is it birthday, get well, thinking of you, 
Um, do you like, you know, handmade holiday projects? Maybe that's the only time you do handmade holiday projects. Maybe you've never tried to do a handmade card. Um, I absolutely love making them, but I also love giving them away. Um, it's just, it's one of my favorite things. So I couldn't be happier that I finally got started with this. Um, I've actually been working on this since March, just trying to get into a rhythm, trying and working with the products, making good samples, um, getting ready to do some videos, uh, doing, setting up the Facebook page and posts and all of that lovely stuff. So it's actually, it's been a lot of fun and I can't wait to share everything with you. I think it's going to be great. Um, I'll be talking a little bit about my family um, on the channel because I do crafting projects related to that sometimes. Um, craft projects for my son, activities for my son Connor. Um, we're going to be talking a lot about Halloween treat boxes this month um, in September. So the other thing I'm going to try to do is work a little bit ahead of schedule so that there's time for you guys to see the projects and be inspired by them and see if it's something that you would like to try to create at home um, or if it is something that you would like to try to do a you know a class with you know your friends or kids or anything like that um, kids in some cases depending on how old they are they would need supervision obviously but um, I will be happy to work with you on all of the different ideas. So I actually have a lot of treat boxes that I've already created. I'm still working on the videos, but I'll post those here um, whenever I have those ready to go. But uh, I just wanted to show you a few tonight just so that you could get some ideas. I'll also be posting some pictures uh, in the coming days on the page. Um, any Thing that you see that you like any suggestions any questions um, I would just encourage you to talk to me on Facebook if you get a chance because it will be great to interact with everybody and if you know anybody um, who absolutely loves this type of thing who loves crafting DIY scrapbooking um, card making uh, doing you know cute customized little personalized gifts this is going to be the perfect place for for them or for you if that's something that you like so I have a few um, examples here that I'm going to be doing instructions for and everything in the coming days but you've seen kind of sort of the previews um, for a couple of these let me just show these to you I can see that I'm on a little bit of a delay on my computer, so I just want to fold these up. These are the coffin treat boxes. This is part of something called the Monster Bash Suites. Um, I kind of was showing you guys when I was coloring the vampires and the mummies. So this is what they look like finished. And of course you can fit your candies in here. I'll be doing a video on these. Um, another option that you would have would be a gift box like this. It's just a basic box. It's called uh, the Perfect Parcel Box, but we dressed it up for Halloween. So I'll be walking you through some of these projects. Um, this is the way that the box opens. And then you would fit your treats right inside the box and it just folds right back down and tucks in again. So depending on the school, um, you can do candy or you can't do candy. Sometimes you're doing little favors or activity books or sticker books, um, just anything like that. So these boxes tend to be a good size for that type of thing. Uh, but they also have clear boxes. So these are different options that I'm going to be walking everybody through throughout the month of September. So I'll be posting details on where you can find the item numbers, um, different ideas that you could use for these tree boxes. This is an empty box and this is just a little piece of paper punched out. You can just put it right on the front. I really should have done my nails for this video. Sorry you guys. But you can just see 
very simple way to do a treat box. Um, they also have something called these the mini pizza boxes. I have not decorated this one yet, but there are lots of options. And if you did sign up for Paper Pumpkin or if you're familiar with Paper Pumpkin, um, you'll be getting 20 treat boxes in your Paper Pumpkin kit. They shipped, I believe, today. Um, so they should be arriving just depending on where you live in the country in the next five to seven business days. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to say hello and talk to you a little bit about what this page is going to be about. Um, please visit anytime. Um, and I think I said everything <laughs> that I wanted to say. I wrote down notes and I did not bring the notebook with me. So, um, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I will have more details to come on the Stampin' Up! products, on my Facebook Lives, on my classes. Um, Facebook will be my main place for now, uh, but I am working on getting started on other uh, platforms as well. So thank you so much and have a great night. Okay, bye.